Uh, dear students, good afternoon to all. Welcome back to our social science class. How are you? Hmm? Uh, then I hope that you are fine and safe at your home. Okay. Uh, then today we are going to start the new lesson, our government. And the first two lessons uh, that are related to our history. The third lesson we already completed that is related to geography. Then fourth lesson is related to our politics, isn't it? Yes, that is a very good lesson, our government. Okay. And then in the uh, first page of this lesson, there is a three pictures up there. Have you seen these pictures? And all of you look at the textbook. Have you seen these pictures? What is that picture? Uh, in the TV, uh, news, and the newspaper, we can... Uh, then the, uh, we can see this type of buildings. Now, what is that uh, picture? And then, first picture, what is in the first picture? Uh, anyone say the answer? Okay, very good. Uh, that is the picture of the parliament. Okay, very good. Okay. And then, next is the, now what is the next picture? And don't you see the book garden? Uh, that is the Mughal garden now. Uh, Mughal garden, right? What is that picture? That is the Rashapati Bhavan, isn't it? Hmm? Rashabadi, I think that you are familiar of these pictures. Uh, and what is the third picture? A very familiar picture, third picture. That is the Supreme Court. Okay. And the first one is the Parliament. And the second picture is the Rashapati Bhavan. And the third picture is the third picture is the uh, Supreme Court. Okay. These are the three pictures. Okay. So listen, all these three pictures are related to our government, isn't it? Uh, these three pictures are related to our government. First picture, parliament, related to legislature, isn't it? The second picture, Rashabadi Bhavan, is related to executive. And the third picture, Supreme Court, is related, uh, then related to judiciary, okay? So, these three pictures are related to our government. Today, we are going to study about government and eh? our government. Eh? Uh, in the government, uh, there is a vast topic now, government, uh, then the Rajya Sabha, Lagos Sabha, duties of the president and the vice president and the prime minister and the uh, functions of the Supreme Court. What many, many uh, then the topics are included in this lesson, our government. So, there is a three organs are included in the government. What is the three organs? Executive, legislature, executive, and judiciary. These are the three organs of the government. And so, yeah, government is the government. end of the legislature, executive, and judiciary. It is a moon of the end of government. Clear the legislature, executive, and judiciary. These are the organs of the government. Okay. What are the uh, uh, functions of these or, uh, organs? And what are the main objectives? What are the functions of these uh, organs? First one is the legislature. <laughs> what is the legislature is doing? Legislature is made the law. For legislature and the law and the legislature. That is the uh, 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 one wing of the government, organ of the government. What is doing? They are making the law for the welfare of the people. Isn't it? The second thing is the executive. And what is the executive is doing? Executive is doing implementing the law. Isn't it? Executive is doing the implementing the law. Okay. The third one is the judiciary. A third organ is the judiciary. What they are doing? Judiciary is interpreting the law. Either name uh, protecting the law uh, for the welfare of the people. And name of the judiciary. Name of the legislature. And implementing that is the executive. Uh, interpreting. Protecting the law is the judiciary. That is the three organs of the government. If you have any organ, you can work in the government. So, government is one of the government. Government is one of the and the legislature and the executive and the judiciary. It is a good thing. 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 Clear? Okay. Uh, then, again, look at the textbook, Government of India. Uh, then, <coughs> 
government, uh, then the government of India, there is an legislator, executive, and judiciary. Government of India, there is a legislator, executive, and judiciary. Okay. Then the government of India, upon Indian government legislature, that is known as the parliament. That is the first picture. So, we the first picture in the Indian parliament. That is the legislature. Upon so, legislature, work in the everyday Indian parliament. Clear so, legislature, work in the everyday Indian parliament. That is the first picture. Okay. And then, uh, government of India, first is the legislature. Then what are the, uh, uh, the uh, who are the included in the legislature? Are a the president under Rajya Sabha under Rajya Sabha. Apa Indian Parliament. The legislature is known as the Indian Parliament. That is the first picture Indian Parliament. The Indian Parliament are the president, Rajya Sabha, and Rajya Sabha. Apa president, Rajya Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Okay, chair in the Indian Parliament. That is the legislature wing of the government. Clear. A legislator wing of the government is known as the Indian Parliament, then President, Lava Sabha, and Rajya Sabha. Okay. Next wing is the executive. Then what is the executive? Who are included in the executive wing? President, Vice President, Prime Minister, Council of Ministers, and Bureau of Justice. Okay. Executive is the executive. President under who is our president? I think that you know that president name. Then vice president, who is the vice president? Okay, you had to find the vice president name. Then the prime minister, prime minister, we already know that council of ministers, that is the different ministers and uh, Mandri Madakut. And then bureaucracy, who is the bureaucracy? Highly qualified, educated people are the bureaucracy people. Upper Mandri Madakut. Highly qualified, high offices. in the bureaucracy. executive in president, vice president, then prime minister, council of ministers, and the bureaucracy. Even in the chain that they are implementing the laws. The law is making uh, legislator. Implementing the law is the wing of the executive. Okay. The third organ is the judiciary. Then, uh, the, who are in the judiciary? Supreme Court, High Court, District Court, Sub Court, Municipal Court, and the Magistrate Court. But judiciary, uh, the uh, Supreme Court, that is the highest court in our country. Supreme Court, where is our Supreme Court? Uh, our Supreme Court is in New Delhi. Then, High Court, in each state, there is a highest court. That, that is the high court. Where is our high court is situated? Is in Ernambula. And then each district, there is a district uh, court that is the district court. Then below the district court, another section is the sub court. And then, uh, up, um, uh, then the, again, sub court, there is a two types uh, municipal court and a magistrate court. Uh, so these are the uh, these are the different courts are included in the judiciary. Thing. Clear? So, in the government, legislature, executive, and the judiciary. For government in one area, legislature, executive, and the judiciary. In the judiciary, how many courts are uh, working? Then, first court, Supreme Court, and the second one, Supreme Court is the highest court, and the high court, there is an each state, the highest court, the high court, and the district wise, district court, and below the sub court, and again below the magistrate court, and the municipal court. So, these are the uh, then the organs of the government, these, uh, all these sections are including in the legislature, executive and the judiciary. And all these have the responsibility of doing everything they are doing for the welfare of the people. These are the participants of the government. Uh, these people are forming the government. Government that is the three organs of the gun legislature, executive, and the judiciary. Then again, there is a, many people are engaged in the each organ. Okay. Uh, the legislator in India. The legislator in India is known as parliament. Eh? It consists of the president and the two houses of the Indian Parliament. The Indian Parliament is known as the legislature. The yeah, legislature is known the president and I already informed you, president and the two houses. It is the two houses, Lava Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Uh, then Rajya Sabha is known as upper house and Lava Sabha is known as lower house. 
so it has uh, two houses uh, because of two houses is working that is why this type of legislator in india following the bicameral legislator appa india ne by camera legislature and karan endra chennale in india legislature there is a two houses are there one is the upper house and the second one is the lower house eh? then nepal pakistan this type of countries are following the by camera legislature system there is a two houses uh, that is the upper house and the lower house is working in the indian legislature there is a two section is there that is why in indian legislature there is a following the by camera legislature clear okay the next we are going to study about the rajya sabha and lok sabha rajya sabha and lok sabha the rajya sabha indian parliament rajya sabha and lok sabha uh, then <coughs> and the president okay next we are going to study about the features of rajya sabha uh, then features of rajya sabha there is a Two hundred. First, we are going to study Rajya Sabha. The first feature there is a two hundred and thirty-eight elected members participating in the Rajya. Clear? And there is a two pictures are there. All of you look at the textbook. And then the uh, Rajya Sabha picture and the Lok Sabha picture is there. Can you see any difference? The uh, arrangement, the seating arrangement, and the color. The carpet color is also different, isn't it? Then look at the Rajya Sabha hall and the Lok Sabha hall. Uh, the Rajya Sabha hall, the copper color is the red color. Eh? Anyone is see the uh, uh, find it this difference? Eh? Rajya Sabha, Rajya Sabha hall carpet is the red color. Lok Sabha carpet is the green color. Then look at the seating arrangement. Eh? Rajya Sabha seating arrangement and the Lok Sabha seating arrangement. And these are also different, isn't it? Eh? So uh, Rajya Sabha. <laughs> How many members are in the uh, Rajya Sabha? There is a two hundred and thirty-eight elected members in the Rajya Sabha. Okay, then twelve members are the nominated members. Clear? The, the number two two hundred and thirty-eight is the elected members, and twelve members are the nominated members. Then who is nominating the members? Uh, do you know? Uh, the president is nominating the members. Uh, what is the criteria of nominating the members according to the uh, ability of their uh, literature? The person uh, uh, famous in the field of art, literature, science, um, uh, then the uh, in the uh, this type of field, famous persons are appointed by the. Uh, prime uh, president eh? uh, that is the nominated members mensilaya adayada kalayum sahityum sanskrathilum okke nalla kalivulla famous aayittulla aalkare ne endu cheyum 12 perene aare president le direct aayittu rajya sabhayilekke appoint cheyyu clear okay then known as council of state rajya sabha is known as council of state why did rajya sabha is known as council of state ah Uh, here there is an MLA member of legislative assembly is selected. Uh, then the Rajya Sabha member, uh, MLA member of legislative assembly, or you state India, or the council, the MLA member, that is the chair of the Rajya Sabha member. That is the term of the name. That is why the Rajya Sabha is known as the known as Council of State. Okay, there is a permanent house. The Rajya Sabha is known as the permanent house. Or you. वर्ष कहूँ Vice President, Vice President is preside over the meeting. Clear? Eh? Vice President is uh, the, the leading the Rajya Sabha. Uh, so um, then, what are the points we discuss here about the Rajya Sabha? How many members? Two hundred and thirty-eight members. Then how many uh, nominated members? Twelve nominated members. Who is nominating the president? President is nominating the uh, these members, and the Rajya Sabha is known as the Council of State. Okay, then Rajya Sabha is the permanent house. Then Vice President presides over the session. 
so vice president is leading the rajya sabha session okay clear okay next day uh, in the legislature uh, next is the lok sabha hmm? uh, then uh, okay one more point is that how many do you know how many rajya sabha members from kerala in kerala uh, here there are nine uh, members are uh, in rajya sabha hmm? from kerala there is a nine members are in the rajya sabha okay Yeah, the next is the Lok Sabha. Eh? Lok Sabha is the uh, integral part of the legislature. Okay, then Lok Sabha, 543 directly elected members. Then how many members? 543 members in the Lok Sabha and two nominated members. So for 545 under, that is two members are nominated by the president. In the Lok Sabha also two members are nominated by the president okay then now i see houses of representatives so lok sabha members are known as houses of representatives appo engena lok sabha appo election varu illa e nammude nattile nammude ivide mp ara member of parliament e ningal choose nokka ningal veetnathulla oru data ningal relate cheyidittulla lok sabha constituency le pinne mp ara nu ningal chodichu nokka e वोटेड़ाण लोकसभा राज्यसभा लोकसभा प्रसिडेंट 
അപ്പൊ പ്രസിഡന്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ആരാണ് ഇറ്റ് എ നോട്ട് ദ മെമ്പർ ഓഫ് ദ പാർലമെന്റ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഇസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഹയസ്റ്റ് അതോറിറ്റി ഇൻ ദ കൺട്രി മനസ്സിലായോ ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആണ് നോ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സോറി ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ ഗവർണർ നോ ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി ഇസ് ദ അപ്പൊ പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി ആണ് ഇറ്റ് നോട്ട് ദ മെമ്പർ നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ദ മെമ്പർ ഓഫ് ദ പാർലമെന്റ് ഈസ് ഡൂയിങ് ദ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ഫങ്ഷൻ സമ്മണിങ് ദ പാർലമെന്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ജോയിന്റ് സിറ്റിംഗ് അഡ്രസ്സിംഗ് ദ ജോയിന്റ് സിറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് അതെന്ത അപ്രൂവിംഗ് ദ ബിൽ പാസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദ പാർലമെന്റ് അപ്പൊ ഒരു ബില്ല് പാസ്സാക്കുമ്പോഴൊക്കെ അത് അപ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ആരാണ് ഇന്ത്യൻ പ്രസിഡന്റ് ആണ് അപ്പൊ ഇന്ത്യൻ പ്രസിഡന്റിനെ പറ്റിട്ട് നമ്മൾ പഠിക്കുമ്പോൾ ഇന്ത്യൻ പ്രസിഡന്റ് ദറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി കൺട്രിയുടെ നമ്മുടെ രാജ്യത്തിന്റെ പരമോന്നത പദ്ധതിയിലേക്ക് വലിയ ആളാണ് ഇന്ത്യൻ പ്രസിഡന്റ് അപ്പൊ പ്രസിഡന്റ് പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്ററും കൂടെ നമ്മൾ കമ്പയർ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ദർ ഇസ് എ ടു ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഫങ്ഷൻ പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്ററും പ്രസിഡന്റും ഡിഫറെന്റ് ഫങ്ഷൻ ചെയ്യുന്നവരാണ് പക്ഷെ പ്രൈം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ലെജിസ്ലേറ്ററിലാണെങ്കിൽ പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രിയാണ് ക്ലിയർ ആയോ ഏ ഓക്കെ ദെൻ ഇൻ ദിസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെസൺ വി സ്റ്റഡീഡ് അബൌട്ട് ദ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ത്രീ ടു പോയിന്റ്സ് വിച്ച് ആർ ദ ത്രീ ഓർഗൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഗവൺമെന്റ് ലെജിസ്ലേറ്റർ എക്സിക്യൂട്ടീവ് ആൻഡ് ജുഡീഷ്യറി ദെൻ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ മെയിൻ എയിംസ് ഓഫ് ദി വാട്ട് ആർ ദ ഫങ്ഷൻ നോട്ട് എ ഫങ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഓർഗൻസ് ഫങ്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി legislator function of the executive and the function of the uh, judiciary okay then after that we discuss about the indian legislature in the legislature there is a president lok uh, sabha and the rajya sabha we discuss about the indian legislature features of lok sabha and the rajya sabha okay student i hope that you have understood that uh, small topic the topic is over now that is why i uh, stop the class uh, here okay then we can see the uh, next class okay i conclude the class okay thank you